If you've followed me for a very long time, you've probably heard me talk about the giant upside down cloud glitch. It's a really rare glitch that happens to random people playing the PC version where they'll walk into a room and all of a sudden cloud is massive, like taking up the entire screen and he's upside down running around and no one knew how it worked and no one knew how to recreate it. So it was always just this random thing that would randomly happen to people. Um, well, Mav, our resident code expert, um, was working on a mod for the speedrun community and randomly came across a post. Uh, the name of the poster, his name is DLPB2. And uh, shout out to him. This was two years ago that he found this. Um, he found the actual part of code that makes this glitch happen. Um, and he even came up with a fix for it as well. So it doesn't continue to happen. Um, and through that understanding of the code, Mav went in and tried to find a way to make it work consistently because that's what we've always wanted. We've always just wanted a way to make the glitch happen consistently so we can show it off and people can do it and mess around with it and stuff. So that's always been the dream is like, can we make it work consistently, even though it's such a random thing? And Mav in his infinite wisdom found a way to make it work every time on the third screen of the game, um, the screen where you talk to Avalanche or sorry, the second screen of the game where you talk to Avalanche. Um, and then I took that, what he did, and I applied it to Coral and found a consistent way to make the Coral version of the glitch work. Um, and then there's one other part in the game where it can work in Bugenhagen's Observatory. I could not find a consistent way to make it work there, but I did find something else really, really goofy there. So without further ado, before we talk about the actual way that it works let me just show you how to do it so um in fact you know what i'm gonna well we'll just start a new game we'll skip through this all right here we go so i'm gonna go ahead and do this so we can get through the battles so all we need to do is go ahead and get to the second screen Here we go. And then we're going to talk to Avalanche. All right, and then we're gonna walk into the next screen. Now we're gonna turn around and go back to Avalanche screen. Then we're gonna go back to the third screen and get into a fight. And I did not test if you need to win the fight or not. I've always just won the fight. There's a chance you could just run away, but I did not test that. Now we go back to the second screen, back to the third screen, back to the second screen. And it should trigger. Usually I get, there it is. <laughs> Usually I get it within two. Sometimes it takes more and you'll see why. But here it is. Giant, massive, upside down cloud. And this will work every time. Now, if you get into a fight, it should cancel it on this screen. Normally it cancels it on this screen, yep. But you should be able to trigger it again. Usually. Perhaps not this time. You will see why this trick is so random. There it is again. So, you'll see why it's so random when we talk about why it works. Um, but, 
From my testing, if you go to the third screen, get into one fight, and then go back and forth, you will always get it within like three or four times. I usually get it on the second try. So, but there you go. Consistently works here. Now, I will show you what I found on Coral. So this is where I usually see the glitch the most, when people are just playing normally. You know, I'll just be watching people play through the game on streams, and I will see this randomly happen to people. And it's usually this screen. I've never actually seen it happen to someone casually on that second screen. And it's happened to me casually in Bugenhagen's observatory once before in the past. Um... And then here, I think it's happened to me casually like two or three times throughout the thousands of times I've played through the game. Um, I've only ever seen this like twice happen to myself. So you can see how, how rare it is. Um, and like I said, once I explain, good lord, this is kind of right. <laughs> um, you will see when I explain why it works, why it's so random. So for this one, what I found is we peek in, we peek out, we get into a fight. Of course, now it's not going to give me a fight. I might play with that later, Mavic, because I do want to see a little bit more like when it's actually changing to the right number. Peek in. Now, in my in my testing, what has worked the best for me is get into another fight. So two fights. Peek in, peek out, get into a fight. Peek in, peek out, get into a fight. Is what worked the best for me. And now, hopefully, within a few peaks, it'll work. If not, get into another fight and try again. I definitely had some times where it just wasn't going. And I had to get into another fight. Try one more. Alright, let's get into another fight. Yeah, that's why I kind of want to look into, like, the actual memory, too, because, like, when is it actually changing the numbers, you know? If I jump down here, it'll magically work. There it is. So you can see how random this is. You know, I, I walked in like seven or eight times before it finally popped. <laughs> so very strange. Um, but there you go. On this screen as well. And on this screen, from my testing, getting, getting into a fight did not cancel it. This time it did. I did have one time where I got into a fight and it didn't cancel it, which was very odd. So yeah, it's and there you go again. So it's, it's all over the place. <laughs> But um, yeah, before I explain why this is so random, I have one more thing to show you. This happened to me last night while I was testing. I was trying to get Bugenhagen's version of it to work, and I could not get it to work. But I did have something else goofy happen. <laughs> so this could also affect other models in the scene so this time it 
hit the big materia instead of cloud. So this is some big materia. Truly huge materia. <laughs> and um, interestingly enough, I actually got this to happen again in the same session. So I walked all the way out. The way I got this to work, weirdly enough, was I went all the way to um, Gongaga and got into a fight. And then came all the way back. And um, was able to get it to trigger again. I think it was... Possibly here. Nope. Somewhere in here. I got it to happen again. Oh. Nope, that's the same one. So anyways, yeah. Uh, this was like a whole 13 minutes of me just trying everything on everything. And I didn't get it to work. Again. But yeah, so it can affect other fields as well. So let me now attempt to explain why this works. So um, first of all, we have to talk about how models are uh, formed in the game. So the way that the game decides what size the model should be, uh, the way that it puts the memory into um, how it organizes the memory is with dynamic allocation. So you have a piece of memory that looks like this and it uses, actually let's do, um, no, that's fine. So you have a, a piece of memory like this, right? And these first four bytes are holding the field size the uh, the model size for the field and you can see that in mako reactor if we go in here and just look at the map models we're looking at this number right here so model size is 512 every single field in the entire game the model size is 512 except for three fields which are the three fields that this glitch happens on um so normally the model size is 512. So when it puts this number 512 into memory, it puts it down like this. So normally in a normal video game, um, you would have uh, basically you would put the number 512 into these two pieces of memory. You would put it as. Um, increments of 500 uh, 256 so you would have 256 here a number that denotes 256 and then you'd put the remainder in the next one right but for whatever reason square enix decided they didn't want to do that so instead of doing that they came up with this really weird way of displaying numbers in that basically 512 is denoted as these three numbers 35 31 and 32 and then two zeros to take up four bytes of memory so you can see five one two so this is five this is one this is two it's being displayed as ascii text and then being converted to hex because they use hex for final fantasy 7. so the three at the beginning of each number is denoting that it's a number and nothing else so the code sees that and says, okay, it's a number. And then it, and then it takes the next number, right? So there's a problem with this though. They need the code to only read these four bytes because this is, you could call it garbage memory, but basically this is just other memory that's being used because it's dynamically allocated. So all of this memory is being was used for something else. And then, in fact, there was there was 10 of these numbers originally. But then when the game went to read the number 512, it overwrites four of those pieces of memory. So this used to be 10. 
but then it overwrote with these four numbers and then left these numbers alone, right? So the problem is we need the game to only grab these four bytes and not these ones, right? So normally you would write a code that says just grab the first four bytes. But for some reason, Square Enix didn't want to do that. Instead, they wrote a really strange algorithm for grabbing just numbers. And the way that it works is it looks for, like I said before, a three and says, okay, that's a number. So grab that one, move on to the next one. Okay, I see a three, grab the number, move on to the next one. Okay, I see a three, grab the number, move on to the next one. Okay, this is not a three, so stop grabbing numbers. That's how it works. And the, um, the guy that found this, his name again is DLPB2. In his own words, he said, uh, it's among the worst things I've ever seen in my life. That is what he called this formula. <laughs> because <laughs> it's a horrible way. If you know anything about computer science, it's just like a horrible way to do it. But anyways, that's the way they decided to do it. And if every field in the game had a model size of 512, it would work fine because this number would always be zero, zero. So it would never, you know, keep going, right? But in certain fields like Bugenhagen's Observatory or the two other fields that we just did the glitch in, you will see that the model size is not 512, it's 4,096. And in the other two fields, it is 1,024, I think, right? Yeah, that's math. Two, uh, 1,024. So what probably happened here is, you know, the intern, or more likely someone that just didn't wasn't actively communicating with the people doing the field scripts, placed the camera somewhere like for example in Bugenhagen's observatory the camera is like really far out so you can see everything um they placed the camera really far away and then they said well crap all the models are too small and instead of moving the camera or upscaling it in some other way they just went in and changed the general model size to a bigger number which in theory should work but they weren't in communication with the guy that wrote this so they did not know that it was going to fail and they just, you know, did it and went about their day. And because they only did it in three fields, it flew under the radar and they never noticed. If they had done this for every field, if every field they placed the camera first and then changed the model size based on where the camera is, they would have noticed right away. Cloud would have been going all over the place. But because they only did it in three fields, they never noticed that this could happen because, as you'll see in a moment, it's very rare. So that is why they never caught it. So anyways, what happens when we change the model size to 1024 or 4096? Well, that will look like this. So again, we have one, zero, two, four and the algorithm is going okay i see a three 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 up oh, that's not a three right so now it cuts out says return 1024 all is good right well if you know anything about computer science at all i'm sure you can always see already see the issue with this right this is dynamic memory these are always going to change. These numbers are going to be all over the place. We're only overwriting the first four bytes. So these numbers are completely random. So what would happen if this 32, that's just part of something else, happened to be here? Well, then this code would think it's a number, right? So this is what it looks like when cloud becomes giant. It's on a field where it's originally 1,024. But then, uh-oh, 
we have three numbers in a row that all start with three. So now it's going to read the number 1,024,752 instead of the normal 1,024. So it's going to try to set the, the model size of every model in the field to 1,024,752. But what actually happens is that that number is way too high. So when the game tries to set that for the model size, it can't and it underflows and becomes something like negative 10,000. So at the end of the day, we get this, where Cloud is at negative 10,000 size, so he's flipped upside down and blown up to a giant size. <laughs> so that is how it works. And that's why it was so rare and happened to people randomly playing the game. Because these numbers need to be, ha just happen to be numbers that start with three, which is really rare. But if you do just happen to walk into this field and these three numbers or four numbers or maybe even two numbers happen to be starting with a three, the number can get too big and end up underflowing. So that is how this crazy glitch happens. I hope that in the future I can find a consistent way to make it happen in Bugenhagen's Observatory because I think that's the funniest looking one. But we now have a consistent way of doing it on Mount Coral and we have a really consistent way of doing it at the start of the game. So the next time you start a new game, feel free to try this and look at the goofiness that is giant upside down cloud. Cloud's model is actually still like his hitbox is still the same size. Um, we can't like use this to skip anything or anything. Um, uh, because his hitbox is still normal. It's just the way it draws his 3D shape, his his model, like the visual model, is giant. But his his hitbox is still the same. So. can actually turn off battles so we can just run around <laughs> look we can see his arms now <laughs> 